All right, guys, another one on anvils. We're, uh, while we got these anvils all out and moved around, we're going to show you how do you weigh these anvils? What do they weigh? If you go find one at a garage sale, an auction, wherever you find it, we're going to show you how to find what these weigh if you don't have a scale. I don't have a scale here in the shop. That's, I mean, if you have a bathroom scale, you can set them on there, of course, but we're going to show you how to read the stone or the hundred weights that are on these anvils, okay? So I'll have Mary come in and show you. This is a Peter Wright anvil, but what it's going to have on it is these numbers. You'll see that it has a 1, 1, and an 18, okay? The 1, starting going left from right, is your 100 weight. 100 weight is 112 pounds. So if it has a 1, it's 112 pounds. If it has a two, that's 224 pounds. Okay, so take that one. So we have 112 pounds. We add the center one is a quarter hundredweight. It's 28 pounds. So if there's a one, it's just 28 pounds. Okay, so it's just, right? The last one is whole pounds. So if you find an anvil that says 1118, the last one to the right is just pounds. That's 18 pounds. Now, why they did it this way and stuff like that, I don't, I don't know. But we are going to add up these and look at some of the other animals and show you the weights and show you these numbers are the same on the Peter Wright animals, on the Hay Biden animals. They have these 100 weight numbers. Some of the others, um, some of the Trentons have them up here on the foot. They just have the weight. Okay, Fishers have the weight. They, some of them have a date and a weight on it. But these Peter Wright and Haybud animals that we have out for the videos, they got 100 weights on them. So we'll show you how to read them. All right, so I got my calculator because I need a calculator. If you don't, Great. <laughs> I need to calculate. Okay, so this one, we figure it's got a 1, 1, and an 18. So we got 112, 112 pounds. 1, 1, 2. Plus, we have a 1, which is 28. So plus 28, plus 18. So we got 18. So this anvil that is up here weighs 158 pounds. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense as we went across. Okay, 158 pounds. Now I'm gonna move it off of the big ones here and we are gonna weigh the big ones because my wife and I found the 100 weight numbers on the big ones. Okay, so the numbers on this Peter Wright and on this side, they're very visible. We had to chalk them and do all kinds of stuff. But we did find the numbers. The numbers are, from left to right, 3, 2, 97. So, 3, 2, and 97, we're going to go 100, 112. 112 times 3. Plus... 28 times 2 plus our last numbers are 97. Okay, this Peter Wright anvil weighed in at 489 pounds. So if you're at an auction or something like that and you can find these numbers, you now know this is a 489 pound anvil. Right? Let's see, we got the numbers on this one. <clears throat> this is my hay button anvil. It was in the hay button video. The numbers on it are on this, they're on this side, same thing. We had to chalk them, really look for them. But they're there. This one's a little bigger. This is the biggest anvil that we have here in the shop. It is four. 2 and 18. That's the numbers for the 100 weights that are on 
right on this side. So 4 is 112 times 4, okay, plus 2 is our center number, so that's 28 plus 2, right? And our last number across, left to right, is 17. So that equals 521 pounds. So if you find these animals and you get the numbers off them somewhere, find the hundredweight numbers on them. Okay, if you go to find one at a guy's house and he says, I got a, a 570 pound anvil, I want $606 a pound for it. That'll tell you exactly what it weighs. Okay, that one's 500. This is 521 pounds. Uh, this is 101. It says 101. So this is 112, a zero, and a one. So it's 113 pounds. So don't get ripped off by someone who says, oh, it's 150 pounds. Pick it up. <laughs> you pick it up, you can take it home, right? I've heard them all. That's a 112-pound animal in great shape. But hope you enjoyed that. Kind of a short little thing on the 100 weights. We made a couple of videos on the animals. We still have more animals. You guys that are interested in the animals, I still have more. We're going to get out some bridge animals. We're going to get out some of the newer animals. I have a horseshoe animal. I have a uh, oh, Texas Ferry Supply TFS animal. It's a great animal. Beautiful animals. Uh, they're not old. The bridge animals are old. I have a couple others that are old. Uh, crescents, uh, Vulcans, some different ones. We'll be explaining some of the tool steel processes on those animals. And why I don't prefer some of them. And why I do like some of them. We'll be going through that. These are my favorite older anvils. They're great, they're big, they're heavy, they're lots of fun. Uh, we also have the, lots of other tools. We've got the drill presses, we've got swage blocks, we've got coal forges, coke forges, all the pieces for bellow forges. We've got a lot of neat stuff. We've got hand crank drill presses. Uh, we'll be going through. But hopefully you learned a little bit about the animals and the other animal videos. And in this one, hopefully you learned how to get an accurate weight on these. You can be the only guy at the auction that doesn't quite get ripped off or whatever because you learned how to do your hundred weights. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You had some fun. Until the next one, let's go.